You haven't been down here in a long time. Trying to find out more about our jewel thief. Ran her prints, unless she's lost a lot of weight. She was wearing someone else's fingerprints. She's good. She may be, but we have a trace on the necklace. We do. So I cross-referenced the address she went back to with police data on high-end B and E's. And, um, Selena Kyle. The databases are full of close calls, tips from fences. And she's good, but the ground is shrinking beneath her feet. We should send the police before she fences the pearls. She won't. She likes them too much. And they weren't what she was after. What was she after? My fingerprints. It was printer toner mixed with graphite on the safe. It gives a good pull and it's untraceable. Fascinating. You two should exchange notes over coffee. So now you're trying to set me up with a jewel thief. At this point, I'd set you up with a chimpanzee if it brought you back to the world. There's nothing out there for me. And that's the problem. You hung up your cape and your cow, but you didn't move on. You never went to find a life, to find someone. Alfred, I did find someone. I know, and you lost them. But that's all part of living, sir. But you're not living. You're just waiting, hoping for things to go bad again. Remember when you left Gotham? Before all this, before Batman, you were gone seven years. Seven years I waited, hoping that you wouldn't come back. Every year, I took a holiday. I, I went to Florence. There's this cafe on the banks of the Arno. Every fine evening, I'd sit there and order a, a Fernie Branca. I had this fantasy that I would look across the tables and I'd see you there with a wife, maybe a, a couple of kids. You wouldn't say anything to me, nor me to you. But we both know that you'd made it, that you were happy. I never wanted you to come back to Gotham. I always knew there was nothing here for you except pain and tragedy. And I wanted something more for you than that. I still do.